In the news stories are to believed a cask of Ardbeg just sold for a whopping £16 million. But this isn't the case and in this video I'm going to explain why. So welcome back to the channel everyone. My name's Mark Littler. I'm a whiskey broker, consultant and market analyst. And a couple of years ago in 2020, you might have seen some headlines about a vertical of Macallan that was sold. A boy was given a bottle every year by his father and then it was sold for around £44,000. Well, that was me. I brokered that sale. My business brokered that sale. And move forward to 2022, another story made headlines. And this time it was to do with the cask of Ardbeg that is reportedly sold for £16 million. Now, when this story broke, it kind of got everyone scratching their heads in the industry, sort of thinking like, what, how, how has this happened? You know, the previous record for a cask of whiskey selling was, was 1 million. So how have we gone up to sort of 16 million pounds? Well, the fact is it hasn't. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why. And it's all to do with the manipulation of the figures by the media, possibly by PR firms, in order to get to this sensational headline figure. So let's get it straight from the outset. The, the cask did not sell for 16 million pounds. The gross revenue generated from all of the bottles that were sold from that cask have sold for 16 million pounds, but the cask definitely hasn't. So the cask itself is a vatting of two casks, a bourbon barrel and an an Oloroso sherry cask, vatted together in 2014 into a sherry butt. And there's about 440 bottles in there, which equates to about 16 million pounds. Now, the buyer of this cask is gonna take 88 bottles a year at 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, whatever, and take 88 bottles a year out of it and then carry on maturing the cask. Now, what's interesting here is that the 16 million pound figure that has been reported includes everything, including taxes, duty, bottling, a million pound charity donation. There's all sorts of other things bolted into this price. And that is what's misleading. You know, for instance, the taxes, if you were to bottle and release that cask in the UK, you'd be looking at about three million pounds worth of taxes. Now, if this whiskey is being imported into Hong Kong, you're looking at 100% duty. And there's a very good chance it could be imported into Hong Kong because the buyer was reported to be a female from Asia. So 50% of that 16 million pounds, i.e. 8 million pounds, could be just the Hong Kong import duty. Now, we don't have many more details than that, so let's just work on the details that we do have. Now, the question then is that figure, that 16 million pound figure, it's not the sale price of the cask, it's the gross revenue generated from all of the bottles from that cask. Now, to see whether that's worthy of headline news, we've got to put it into context, and that is the crucial thing here. So for instance, the first thing that sprang to mind when I was looking at this was the Macallan Reach. You know, 92,000 pounds per bottle, 288 bottles, gets you to a whopping 26 and a half million pounds for that single cask release. Well, that's 10 million pounds more than the Ardbeg already, so why wasn't that reported on? Again, it's the way that it was worded by the media. The Glenlivet Generations, that was £90,000. There were 250 bottles, so that's £22.5 million. So another single cast bottling significantly higher than the Ardbeg. You know, even if you look at the likes of the Geishas, the Ruby Geishas that were released last year by the Whiskey Exchange, they were eighteen and £20,000. And there was about 247 and 223 bottles from the 34 and the 38, which gets you to a smidge under £9 million. So, and that's just a whiskey exchange release, you know. So the key thing here is sort of context. That 16 million pound price in the scheme of modern whiskey really isn't that exciting, you know. Even if you come down to sort of more normal, boring, no age statement releases. Now this might sort of open your eyes a bit. The Macallan Distill Your World, 3,100 pounds RRP, 1,000 bottles, 3.1 million pounds in gross sales. Well, you know, it's Macallan. What about the folios then? The last one, Folio 6, I think it was £299 a bottle. Whiskey Base has got it down at being 3,000 bottles, which gets you to a smidge under £900,000. And even the recent Springbank 30-year-old, there was £865 a bottle. Whiskey Base has got that as being an addition of 1,400 bottles, which is £1.2 million. So 
you know, whiskey's big business. We don't often see the gross revenue figures thrown around. It's a weird thing to throw around. But in this instance, the Ardbeg release did throw around those figures. So we've got to put into context. So is it a big release worthy of headline news? Well, not really. Well, yes and no, but in the context of the other casks, not really. Now, the question then, if the cask sale and the gross revenue isn't worthy of headline news, then are the bottles worthy of headline news? So £36,000 for a bottle of Ardbeg sounds expensive, but is it? You know, you take a look at the, the like, so the, this whiskey, it's currently 46 years old. It's going to be released until it's about 50 years old. So that 46 year old release, the very first one is going to be the world's Ardbe oldest Ardbeg ever released. So the oldest Ardbeg that's on the market at the moment is a 40 year old bottling by Signature Vintage and that's retailing at £10,000. So that's 10 grand for a 40 year old and it's an independent bottling. So 36 grand, you know, not too bad, really. What about the Kingsbury, the 29 year old? That sells for around 25,000 pounds at auction. And the thing with that, that's legendary, legendary Ardbeg whiskey. Now, let's assume that the person who's buying this didn't spend 16 million pounds on ordinary whiskey. Let's assume it's exceptional. Well, those Kingsbury bottles are 25 grand each. So 36 grand for an original bottling rather than an independent bottling. You know, it's not too bad. And then the final thing to think about with all of this is that we don't even know how this is going to be presented. This is an original bottling by Ardbeg. So Ardbeg are taking control of all the bottling and everything from this. Now, imagine if this is presented like the Ardbeg double barrel that was released in association with Purdy in these beautiful leather cases with ster engraved sterling silver labels and engraved silver goblets. That's 20, 25,000 pounds now. So. Broadly speaking, 36 grand for the world's oldest Ardbeg, originally bottled, and to have the bragging rights that you own the full out one of those casks and can be benevolent enough to gift them to your friends, it's not really that expensive in the scheme of modern whiskey people. So there we have it, you know, 36,000 pounds. It's not a lot of money for the world's oldest originally bottled or distillery bottled Ardbeg, you know, it's not a headline figure in the scheme of single cask releases in the 21st century. It's just an average price really. But it's amazing to see how the whiskey industry is now gearing up its PR machines. They're making stories where stories aren't necessarily existing. And that's what's really fascinating to me. Whiskey is moving forward with great momentum and things like this, whether it's represented accurately or not in the press, are going to move the industry and, you know, and the perception of this industry forward. So what do you think? Do you think that this was a, you know, a silly amount of money to spend on a cask of Ardbeg or 440 bottles from a cask of Ardbeg? Get in the comments and let me know.